Hey, it's Dr. Ko here from Reset Ketamine in Palm Springs. Welcome. A lot of people ask me about what it feels like to have a ketamine infusion experience. So there was a doctor who was doing a lot of research on experiences of patients who received ketamine. And his name is Dr. Eli Kolb. He described four types of experiences that he noticed amongst his patients. The first one is the empathogenic experience, where one has an awareness of one's body, feelings of comfort and relaxation, relaxation, reduced ego defenses, empathy, compassion, warmth, feelings of love and euphoria, and where the mind is filled with this dreamlike effect with sometimes some very colorful visualizations. The second one is the out-of-body experience, where there is a complete separation from one's body. And some people describe visiting mythological realms, seeing different spiritual beings or ghosts or deceased relatives. It's a really interesting experience that one can have in this out-of-body experience. Also, there might be dreams of the present, the future, or the past, or they might even relive their birth process during this out-of-body experience. The third stage is the near-death experience, and this is a complete dissolution of one's ego, where actually someone feels like they are actually psychologically and maybe even physically dying. During this experience, one might see themselves as a single point of consciousness seeing itself. And lastly, reliving one's own life, going through the actions that they've had and committed, and really doing a life review during this process. The last and final stage is the ego dissolving transcendental experience. This is where there is a complete ecstatic state of dissolution of boundaries between the self and external reality, complete dissolution of one's body and self. They might transcend normal space and time during this experience. And feelings of a collective consciousness and unity with the oneness or single consciousness of life or God or the sacredness that is ineffable. It's interesting because there is a wide range of experiences and that can actually depend upon the dose. That will definitely depend upon the person's mindset. It will depend upon the environment that they are receiving ketamine in. And so it's not necessarily one is better than the other. Uh, these are just simply four stages of ketamine experiences that one can have. And regardless, it's very important to be in an environment where you're gonna be able to experience any of these four stages, but also feel completely safe because it is a very vulnerable place to be in. Please let me know what you think about this. Leave me any questions or comments below. Mm -hmm.